Hi, I'd like to welcome you to these WordPress tutorial videos. Now, in these videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that you can get your very own WordPress site up and running in way less than an hour. Now, if you aren't too familiar with WordPress, WordPress is web-based software that you can use to create beautiful websites and blogs. WordPress is used by over 60 million different websites right now, and it's a proven and reliable technology that's always evolving and always changing for the better. Now, if you aren't real familiar with WordPress, it's very simple to use. There's lots of tutorial videos and written material out there to help you get going. But I think that these videos that I've created for you are really going to help you get off to a fast start. Now, before we get going, there are a couple of things that you're going to need. These are This is going to be a WordPress installation on your own domain. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get yourself a domain if you don't already have a domain name yet. And you can go to godaddy.com or namecheap.com to get yourself a domain name. And I used GoDaddy. I've used them for, geez, probably about eight years or so. I've never had a problem with them, and I like them very much. They have good prices. They're always running specials. And for me, anyway, they've been very reliable. Okay? Now, the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a web hosting account. Okay, and I recommend that you get a hosting account that has true cPanel or control panel backend. And that's very important. You're going to want to make sure that the hosting that you get has a control panel. And I use HostGator. This is another service that I've used for many different years. There are plenty of different hosting solutions that you can use, but you do want to make sure that you use one of the larger brands that's out there. Like I said, I like HostGator. I recommend you use HostGator, but if you're already using a hosting provider, by all means use them if you're happy with them. So before we get going, like I said, you're going to want to make sure that you have a domain name and then that you have a hosting account. And once you have all that, you're going to want to go to your cPanel, okay, your control panel, which is going to be your website, okay, forward slash cPanel. And you can see that's where I am right here. So before we continue too far with these videos, I'd like to make sure that you go ahead, get yourself a domain name and get yourself hosting, and then come back to this page where I am right now, which is basically going to be your domain name forward slash cPanel. And from there, I'll see you in the next video, and I'm going to show you how to get this installed and set up right away.